Now, according to the World Health Organization, over 60 million people in Africa have hepatitis B, accounting for over 60,000 deaths annually. Beyond the high cost of treatment drugs, the drugs are less accessible and come with many side effects. Fortunately, some Ghanaian scientists are exploring cheaper sources of treatments that are less toxic and readily available. They have successfully been able to completely cure a hepatitis B patient with a locally made FDA approved anti-malarial drug known as Nibima in a finding contained in the journal Scientific African. Joy's medical reporter, Dr. Netta Pasram, has more in this report. Individuals with chronic hepatitis B infection are at risk of liver disease and a type of liver cancer known as hepatocellular carcinoma. Fortunately, hepatitis B screening, vaccination and treatment are increasingly available in many government and private health facilities. Three-dose vaccination costs 40 Ghana cities per dose. If infected, the medication for the six-month treatment also costs 80 Ghana cities per month. These costs are not covered by the National Health Insurance Program. And of course, many can't afford. Professor Mohamed Mutuchelo is a virologist at KNUST and member of the research team. Currently, for hepatitis B, for chronic hepatitis B viral infection, um, there are array of drugs uh, approved for treatment and management. There were seven of them. Um, in this country, currently, the, what is largely used is tenofovir. And these are what we call directly acting antivirals. Um, there are others as well, like the interferon base, which are also expensive. Both tenofovir and interferon based drugs are quite expensive. Um, for instance, the tenofovir that's largely used, um, the person has to buy it. Then, normally, they are prescribed together with hepatoprotective drugs such as hepatovites for six months. And when we worked out, you would be spending approximately or at least 1,000 Ghana cities for the first six months. And they have side effects. Nabima is a plant commonly found in the Quail Mountains. It contains a substance known as cryptolepin, which has been found to be effective against malaria and recently COVID-19. Reverend Professor Charles Ansan of the Department of Pharmacology, KNUST, has been working on cryptolepin for some time now. Uh, but that is not the only action of cryptolepin. I call it a wonder drug. Uh, it is used in inflammation. It is uh, an antibacterial agent. Uh, it is an anti-cancer agent. It is an angiogenic and a lot of other properties of this particular plant. So if you are using it for a particular disease, we also know that these are some of the properties of the, of the, of the plant. Professor Mohamed Mutuchello and his PhD student Seth E.J. Dumfe initially found the success of cryptolepin against hepatitis B virus in a test tube experiment. To translate the findings into clinical care, a 49-year-old male patient with a history of chronic hepatitis B infection was given Nibima for six months in a case study. The viral load, blood, kidney and liver functions were assessed. After six months of Nibima therapy, the hepatitis B viral load of the patient reduced by 99%. And so we thought that the government should probably come in to assist us with a clinical trial before this can be ruled out. You know, this is an FDA-approved drug for, for malaria. Happily, the scientists found no reported defects in the blood, liver, and kidney functions within the six months of Nibima therapy. Seth E.J. Dumfe is lead scientist. And we look at the, the markers, and they all fall within their ranges. We are normal range that have been accepted. So the, the, the values where they measured at baseline, at three months and six months, they were within their normal ranges. 
which means that the drug had no effect on the kidneys, on the liver, and also on the bone marrow. So there you have it, an affordable and easily accessible treatment for hepatitis B. However, do not abuse. I'm Dr. Netta Pastram, reporting for Joy News.